now. Welcome to Blue Waters Fine Art and Design Gallery located at 825 Central Avenue in Hot Springs, located in the Historic Arts District. It's nestled between the Old Malco Theater, which is the Maxwell Blade uh, Magic Theater now, and Justice Fine Art Gallery. March for Women's History Month, we focused on works by women artists and different stages in their career. This work is by Sarah Henry, who teaches ceramics and art at the Arkansas School for Mass Science and the Arts here in Hot Springs. Um, she completed her MFA degree from New York, from the University of New York, New Paltz. Her work is ceramic made of porcelain clay and done with an unusual technique which is called a burnout technique. This work helps us to contemplate land topography, geographic formations, astronomy, climate change, and perhaps our own smallness in the vast and expanding universe. Okay. Diane Hauser's works are drawings on metal they're miracle stories retold by the artists for us in symbols. She says, I've collected otherworldly and phenomenological stories of people that defy logic. These experiences are inextricable by logical means. In The Gleaners, a woman inherits a house from her grandmother and she cleans it out and has a dream the night she spends the night that there is a hidden treasure under the leaf litter in the front yard and in the morning she goes outside puts her hand down into the fallen leaves and discovers a very valuable necklace in the tree catcher the story is about a young boy who, clear, who regularly climbs out his bedroom window to sit in a tree. And one night he falls, and his right before he falls to the ground, his ankle is trapped between some branches. He believes that that tree saved his life by reaching out and grabbing him. The show also included some of Hot Springs' well-known um, artisans like Irma Steele Smith, who's known for living in one of the most elegant Victorian homes in, in Hot Springs and for her volunteer work all over the city, as well as her birdhouses. This is work by Susie Birch. This uh, is an example of a, a kind of a memory box of Hot Springs. We have quartz crystals, we have a lot of broken pottery that's been reassembled. Susie really enjoys doing mosaics. Okay. This is my own work. I have an MFA in painting, even though I enjoy working a lot of different mediums. Uh, we have a cabin out in um, Point Cedar, and I often go out there and work. This is called Spring in Arkansas. This is another oil painting observing the beautiful fall colors in the same area in Point Cedar. And this piece titled Memories of Trees is like a dream sequence. Hmm. Karina Karina Federwitzki teaches ceramics at National Park College, and she's the owner and artist at Arrow Point Pottery. She's good at both wheel throwing and hand building. Uh, she likes to fire in primitive pit fire and raccoon firings, and she's always exper experimenting with glaze chemistry, she, about which she's extremely knowledgeable. Always in the gallery, we have Works of Steel by Tri-Lakes Ornamental Iron, Lee Fields and Company. 
And then we also have lovely works of spalted wood, boxes, and pottery. Thanks for coming to visit Blue Waters Fine Art and Design Gallery. We hope you'll pop in soon as possible after our quarantine has lifted. Thank you so much.